Hi guys, it's Richard from Pick Nature. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about box shadows. So for this, you need nothing but Elementor and you don't even need Elementor Pro. However, of course, I can always recommend Elementor Pro. It's a great tool for making great websites. And if you want to get it, you can go in the description and get Elementor Pro. So let's just say as an example, I'm setting up a page with the box shadow element. So in Elementor, you can set any box shadow if you go to the border dialog in Elementor. So go to border and here you have this box shadow property. And we even have the option to adjust this to our needs. You know, you can set an offset, you can set an horizontal offset. You know, also, by the way, you have this position attribute, which basically says, do I want my ca to cast my shadow outwards or inwards? The problem I have with this right here is that you cannot reuse these parameters. So if I want to use the same box shadow in a lot of areas, so let's, for example, say I'm on a completely different page and I want to do the same box shadow, then I would have to go to the border dialog and set all of this again, right? And this is something I don't quite like. Here's how I would do box shadows. So I would go to the customizer. I would go to the additional CSS. What I would do down here now is I would add my own class. So I would call that box shadow one, maybe. Now you can go to a box shadow generator, which I will link in the video description below. You can see here that you can basically create the same type of shadow um, that you can create in Elementor. So now the great thing is instead of having to set this in Elementor, now I have this code right here, which I can copy. And I can set that into my customizer. And now I have this class box shadow one, which contains my box shadow. So if I publish this and go back to my Elementor, uh, let's remove the box shadow that we just created. Now what we have to do is go to our CSS classes and set the box shadow one class. So since I didn't reload this page, it's not going to do anything. So let's just reload this right now. So as you can see now, I have my box shadow in the CSS class and it's much easier to work with. So I can go and just go to all of those icon boxes and set the shadow using the CSS class that I created. And the, the cool thing about this is now I'm not only limited to put the CSS class into an element that is a, a box, as in it can have a border, of course, you could set this border on any type of element. Like you could also set this, uh, you know, you can set this on the column, you can set this on your section. So if you go to your section border, you also have the box shadow. You can set this on elements. So these elements though, they usually have the border in the advanced tab, but there are some elements which don't traditionally have a border and you can still set this CSS class uh, and have this uh, box shadow. So before I set the class on the column, now I'm setting the class on the element and it should also give me the box shadow, as you can see here. It's it's not really displayed correctly in the preview, but it's it's going to be set definitely. So yeah, this is how I would do box shadows. Instead of using Elementor, I would say the class and just put the class in everywhere because that saves you some time and makes it easier for you to reuse the same box shadow everywhere on your page.